All righty, let's check this out. Let's put the whole thing. Love of chocolate. You must love chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate. Say you do. Say. Love of All right. Interesting. So you're talking about that you have other background elements. So you can put stuff here, like other mannequin parts or some shelves that you're saying here and you're not super happy with the face uh but you're going for this creepy guy weirdo kind of thing i think there's definitely a creepy weirdo thing of holding this now um this is all very subjective i'm not sure if it all depends where you want to send this you know company wise if this is for your real how uh, creepy is this too creepy is this inappropriate is it just getting into this weird obsessive guy obsessing over a woman type of thing um you know this is all something that you will have to decide technically i'm not to be honest i'm not super sure that you need a full body shot all the time this is probably okay because it's your big reveal and yeah a big move to then show this it's a bit cut off and it's a bit top heavy and framing and you're kind of cutting it off right here. Um, I don't know. My first thought was, depends how serious you want to do this. And I know you're saying here that you're going for something uh, weirdo type of thing. That being said, this could also just be a neutral um, mannequin. And then you could almost have an arm dangling here. So you have a bit of interesting overlap. I know this is more work, but I'm just thinking out loud. And then you can always have, you know, some mannequins hanging there and on shelves and hanging if you want to do this. Um, you know, or you do all kinds of different types of mannequins so it's not so, so creepy in terms of what's going on here. Or, I know this changes everything and I'm not saying you should do this. I just want to throw out ideas just in case you're, you're open to this. What if he holds a cat? And it's just the guy that's really obsessed with his pet and wants to talk to his pet and talks about chocolate and all that stuff. That could be something. So you could have some interesting facial shapes of a creature freaked out and holding here, shaking, and then maybe a tail around it. You know, like the other things you could do technically. Um, I would definitely... But I like your idea of adding more stuff. It just feels like this is just a background added and it's a guy in an empty room. And I, I'm not sure if that's that appealing to watch. And that's why my my biggest thought was you start like this and once you go here you frame it like this and then you just do a close-up because once you're here do we need to see the body like is there anything that we need storytelling wise in terms of seeing the whole body no and if you do this again this could all be framed in something that's a lot tighter um, so that will be my first suggestion. Again, this is all subjective. You Maybe you want to do everything in one shot. That's totally up to you. So, again, I mean, it all depends what your final purpose is. Do you want to send this to companies? What companies? Do you want to consider the content for those companies? Is this something just for yourself? Is this a practice thing? Uh, you can always email me and let me know, and then we can talk about this in email form and hashing things out. But yeah, my first thought was, wow, well, wouldn't it be funny if it was a, a pet and then you can have some additional animation and then you go from a full body to then something closer because you are talking about, uh, I'm not happy with the face at all. That's your comment there. Um, but because you are so full body, you know, it's, yes, you got to put in facials, but it's not as important as if your shot was like this. You know, if you had a close up, you would put more detail into this generally talking about your face so to me the main thing is that it's just all very very small the shapes are very contained and they're very minimal but if i listen to him chocolate, chocolate like to me i feel a lot of oh and ah chocolate, chocolate you must have and just pushing those shapes you must laugh. Like, even that is almost like he's just so desperate that to me, there would almost be a bigger push of eyebrows and maybe slumping of shoulders and maybe leaning, just really pushing also the emotion through the body and not just the face. Everybody, like, even that would be just much more accentuated in the shapes. And this is your, right? I can scrub here. 
You know what I mean? This is your So that is just so minimal. Um, so to me, I would go absolutely bananas and push those shapes. Look at look in the mirror and just exaggerate how he's talking. And then you can always scale it down. And then we can pick moments where, oh, this is appropriate here. Maybe this is too much there. I do like your pause here. How you go up and hold and that, which kind of matches the energy of the audio delivery. I'm just, again, thinking about like, wouldn't it be fun to just have an anime. Yeah, I don't know why I'm thinking about a cat, poor cat, but a freaked out cat shivering. And that with that little, you know, flick with the finger on the nose where the, then the creature could react to this. But again, that's just me. And I would love to have a discussion uh, with you in terms of what you are willing to do and change and what your uh, goal is ultimately for the shot. The thing that's okay to me is this big move. It's very theatrical and, and uh, you know, overacted. But, I mean, given his delivery, I think it's appropriate. It's okay. But the feeling that I get with something like this, that's very clean in its move and its presentation. This seems like... This seems almost like a stage of a theater. And he is auditioning. And he's just overacting in terms of big theatrical moves. That's my other impression. Whereas this feels more character driven. So if you're going for creepy stuff, I'm not sure if this is the right move for if you want to go for a creepy weirdo guy. This might just be an eccentric person. And I think to me, there's a difference there. And there could be something if you if you hold something else. Again, this is just going with the idea. I'm just very obsessed with adding a pet here that he will be holding a chocolate bar, maybe here, or when he does this, it's him holding, you know, a chocolate bar that will be, you know, imagine the hand is a bit here and he would hold, and instead of the fingers, the chocolate bar hitting the nose. And I'm not saying this would be the pose because the silhouette would be bad, but something where you would use the prop because he's already talking about chocolate. Um, so yeah, so I mainly have more questions than, than feedback for this, because I think from a technical point of view, and let me turn off the sound here, I think from a technical point of view, it's all nice. I mean, there's some moments when his arm goes up, that feels a bit even in timing, and spacing-wise, this seems pretty fast, and then right through there, uh, it just slows down a lot suddenly. And then it's a bit floaty and even going up. I think once you get to here, you can be a bit more detailed with the fingers for contact. And I think a bit of a wiggle in the knees. So from a technical point of view, there's some things here and there. But I think it works pretty well. So I'm, I'm less worried about um, <laughs> your animation skills per se in terms of... Uh, oh, this is tricky to animate and you need to work on your on your posing and your timing. I think that's all good. So I feel like I could talk to you in terms of just performance only. So that's why it's a rambling. I'm going to stop it here. Um, and after you watch this, email me and let's talk about this. Let's see what we can do. And obviously you can say, no, I want to do exactly this with just more mannequins. And then I will continue to critique that. But for now, these are my thoughts and comments. All right. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.